all right guys um so i think that's pretty much it for the tutorial or the series um i mean you can pretty much uh add accounts if you want to <clears throat> you can do transactions um deposits transfers payments withdrawals etc um yeah we can view our payment history transaction history yeah so i think that's pretty much it there's nothing else and again in the last video you saw we can protect against um anyone trying to access um unauthorized pages um using interceptors and all that now um look i just wanted to share this uh project with uh, those of you who probably are learning uh spring boot um look i'm also still learning the project uh, the framework itself along with java you know and um yeah man i'm not gonna lie um as you saw um um i still have some work to do when it comes to working with java um in the last couple of videos we saw um there's quite a number of errors that we encountered some were just um stupid error i mean stupid um errors that you would get due to forgetting certain things you know and then some you know yeah it's just you know it's just a matter of um playing around with uh with, the, with as many projects as you can um i'm not i had a bit of fun building this project i know that there's a lot that goes into building banks um there's a lot into that goes into how to handle transfers of uh, money and all of that i mean yeah it's not a real bank i know but at the very least um it's something you know so it, it's a it's a good way of learning um if you're learning whatever uh, programming programming language you're learning and so forth so but yeah i hope um i was able to um whoever's learning spring boot i hope i was able to show you or teach you something if i did if not my apologies but yeah so um yeah like i said guys that's it for the video or the tutorial um um i don't know i want to do as many projects in java as possible um but um, because i want to get the hang of this language i'm pretty sure well in my opinion i'm a bit strong when it comes to php and laravel but then again that particular language is a little bit forgiving as you saw with the java java complains about everything if you miss a semicolon if you didn't put in if you don't use the correct uh variable or correctly it's just gonna keep complaining and all of that so um yeah i want to play around with as many java projects as i can uh just so that i can get the hang of this particular language um and then um yeah i don't know i'll see what projects i can come up with um in later uh tutorials but yeah like i said i hope that you guys had fun uh doing this project with me i know i did so um that's pretty much it so like i said in the beginning the main thing i wanted to do was learn how to work with repositories or doing crud database crowd functionality with repositories initially in my first spring boot projects within this channel i couldn't get this to work so the one thing i misunderstood um, as far as what i could see building this particular project was um how the repository or the jpi the jpa api works with um how you map models to your repositories and um how that all interconnects with what you have set up within your database and all of that so I think that was the main issue so in this one i at least managed to get to see a little bit of or a little bit of insight as to how this all works um and like i said before i know that a lot of the times when it comes to working with the repositories people don't um from the tutorials i saw people don't use uh, them directly within the controllers uh they will create like a service class or something like that annotate that particular class as a service and then use that to perform crowd functionalities or to let that handle all the crowd functionalities uh, that you would do within the database and all of that so but yeah maybe in the next project i'll be looking into that um because i'm learning this bit by bit so i don't just uh, jump into it and uh, assume that i can just um, learn everything all at once but i think taking it step by step maybe could be the best approach well that's for me for for me that's um uh, that's for me um, as an individual sometimes i am a bit of a slow learner but in any case yeah man um like i said i hope you guys had fun uh doing this and um if not like i said i'm sorry about that but 
Yeah, man, if you were following along from the beginning um, and um, you wanted to learn a bit about Spring Boot, hopefully you were able to see the potential of this particular framework and uh, maybe and hopefully I was able to teach you something as well from my side. In any case, um, that's it for the tutorial. Um, like I said, I don't think there's anything left to do now. And so, yeah, the rest is up to, to you guys. Um, I don't have a GitHub account yet. I plan on uh, setting one up so that I can share some of the code that I've been using. So, um, but in any case, I'll be doing that at a soon. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be sharing whatever I've done with you guys, um, uh, with, uh, with you guys when it comes to these projects and all of that. In any case, um, yeah, man, I know that in the last couple of videos, I was um, copying and pasting all the time. So my apologies for that. I didn't want the videos to linger on too long because as you saw, some of them were quite uh, were quite long. But in any case, um, I hope you had fun and um, I'll be seeing you guys with the next uh, project. Uh, cheers for now.